Two of the escapers have got a real challenge ahead of them. Hendley, a Swiss American airman and a highly talented pickpocket, has volunteered to escape with a forger named Blythe. The only trouble is that Blythe is as blind as a bat. Hendley is certainly going to have his work cut out. No doubt you've heard the immortal words of our new commandant. Devote your energies to things other than escape and sit out the war as comfortably as possible. Well, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to devote our energy to sports and gardening, all the cultural pursuits. In fact, we're going to put the goons to sleep. Meanwhile, we dig. There'll be three tunnels. We'll call them Tom, Dick and Harry. Tom goes east from 105, Dick goes north from the kitchen, and Harry goes out parallel to Tom from 104. Willie, you and Danny will be tunnel kings. Sedgwick, manufacture. Mac, of course, will take care of intelligence. Hendley? We haven't met. Scrounger? I'll meet all of you in turn and we'll pound out the details. Well, gentlemen, I got you all together because I'm going to march you all through the gate. Through the gate? Just walking down the road? We don't want to be too clever. Too little escape activity and the goons will think something big is up. MacDonald, disguised as a goon, is going to escort you two out to the delousing camp. En route, you can make a break for it. Now, Mac, there is a lot to do, so move fast. Good luck, old chap. You need to recover the uniform from under Hut 110. Right you are, Roger. The ferrets have been sniffing around, so the objects have been hidden under this hut. Be careful when retrieving them. May I see your papers, please? I am due in the Commandant's office, but I left my gate pass in my other uniform. Okay, then you may pass, but just this once. Thank you. Everything seems to be in order. <coughs> please move along. I need to recover the pocket knife that Hendley hid under the Commandant's hut. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Not me. I just transferred in from the Eastern Front. Attention all prisoners. There will be a roll call at 0800 hours. Now I've got the pocket knife. It's probably a good idea for me to cut the phone wire. It should keep the Jerry's confused.
Can I see your papers? Please proceed through. All present and correct. You're dismissed. Looking good so far, Mac. Now go up and meet with McLee and Valena. Right you are, Roger. So, you are going to escort us out of the camp and past the checkpoint, yes? Yes. Then I'll return to steal a few more things we need. Can I see your papers? Everything seems to be in order. Please move along. Your papers, please. Wait, I just need to ring to confirm your orders. Hello? Hello? Ah, new technology. It never seems to work. Hmm, okay. Well, it all seems to be in order. You may proceed. Attention! Commandant's inspection! Cranky Mac, if the Commandant sees us, we'll be busted. We're going to run for it. Okay, good luck then. This checkpoint is now closed.
Now I need to get a training timetable. By doing this, I must not be seen by the Commandant. Timetable. The Commandant has stated that it be left alone. <coughs> I'd better get back into the camp with these. Your papers, please. Everything seems to be in order. Please move along. <laughs> 